Hey, hey, V, wait a sec. Listen to that guy. How'd you rate his chops? To my untrained ear, sounds all right, I guess. I mean, it's easy listening, at least. No, why? Technique second rate. But the feeling? That's what counts. Guy's hurt, got something he can't take, and it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong, loses the tempo more than he keeps it, but not bad. You really know how to give a guy a compliment. Is that how you got your start? Street busker with big dreams? Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world awake. <laughs> now, isn't that what every failed artist says about their work? Know what? You're right. I failed. Corpo tyrants still run this town, just like 50 years ago. But if you think in my heart of hearts I want to be the next teen idol, think again. Don't get half a fuck about that commercial shit. All right, princess. At least you played some gigs. Saw those memories of yours. True. Played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. Had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff didn't even know who we were. So, you're saying some old samurai bootlegs are still floating around town. Ooh, I smell heads. No idea you were such a materialist. Could almost cry. Almost. The jokes aside, you think those tapes still exist? After all these years? Hmm, you know, Rainbow Cadenza is not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot. Place for people with their heads on straight. Maybe they'll know something. they turned your great spot into a slurp shop mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again point for the other team huh huh this is why you don't bring back fallen warriors sooner or later they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit uh hey um Rainbow Cadenza mean anything to you? Oh no, another one. Aren't you too young for this? To what now? Every day some sad grandpa in his old leather comes in here, asks where is his old rainbow club. And I'm like a broken record. Tell all of them the corp brought them out 20 years ago. I should put up a sign. Know anything about any bootlegs from the Rainbow Cadenza days? Like, say, I don't know, uh, samurai stuff? Samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah, even I know that one. Old guy comes by here sometimes wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. Wouldn't happen to know where I could find him. You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, he's out there at the market. Meaning he does his shopping there. I mean, you can do yours at his spot, assuming you'd even want to. He sells ancient dusty tapes of ancient dusty indie bands. No one's heard of a single one of them. Green, thanks. Hey, I'm looking for some good tunes. Got any laser pop? Something from us, Cracks? Don't sell no scop here. You either want good music or rainbow bright shite. Chill, chum. It's just a joke. <laughs> laser pop? Fucking laser pop? Here? At my stand? 
I heard I can get some decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian Duelist, Urdine stuff, Tainted Overlord. Any samurai? <laughs> Kid, you even gotta ask? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in, you name it, we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. I see I found Silverhand's biggest fan. And proud of it. Today's bitty box rockers can't even touch him. Silverhand had something they couldn't even dream of. Uh, a Silverhand? He had that fire, kid. Fire! Guy shook the foundations of the corporal world. He died for his ideals. Doesn't matter, he was also kind of a terrorist. Blaze way down the rebel path. I'm looking for the real deal. Like, say, bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs. Fuck! First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so, so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. Not gonna give them to the first gunk off the street. Hey, I ain't a poser. I know everything there is to know about Silverhand. Go on. Impress me. Know what he told Carrie the last time they met. Fuck this band. Not your crowd. Not your noise. Do your own thing. Yeah, sure. I could think up a million conversations they had. There were no witnesses. I used to, uh, come here back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scop. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. Weren't even a twinkle in your daddy's kuroshis. Hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? All right, proof. How'd Samurai's third ever gig end? Hey, Johnny, get your digital ass out here. Feed me my lines. How about this? Fuck you, V ain't your stupid sidekick. Well, can't wait all day. Fucking hell, Johnny. Why sabotage? Why now? Because it's funny. Because I'm bored. Maybe I don't like the cut of your conformist chip. You always freeze up like this? Played our third gig at Cadenza. Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed. Wore a wig for a few weeks. Never did get herself any tech hair. Uh, let me think. There was a fire. Remember those gonks who tried putting it out with beer? <laughs> I almost forgot. Heard Johnny started it, actually. Tossed a cig that was still glowing. <laughs> Bullshit. That cig was Carrie's, no doubt. But hey, any trouble's Johnny's fault. Still don't believe you were there. But what the hell? Only a real fan can know something like that. Hey, anyways. Gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Come on, have at it. Appreciate it. Take it. Spread the good silver hand word. Death to you know, they say time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. Guy's your biggest fan. You're not happy to meet him? Busaka Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there. Just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut.
stuck in the past. Want them to change, them and the world. You want to force them to change. And you can't just blow them up like a tower. But music's the answer? Here's what happens. Grandpa knows every damn word. Doesn't understand a single one. You'd rather massacre a bunch of people then. And the average Janes and Joes. Maybe they don't want to change. It's their choice. You want to take that away from them? They might be bums who play see no evil. Might be blind idiots. They need to wake the fuck up. Guess jury's still out on how.